Hi, welcome again on QTAL. I see there's a red little thing up there pointing out that I need to update my system. This little thing here. And let's just quickly do it. That's it. Done. Let's go to QTile. There is one thing I still need to explain. So we've gone over all of them except the one that says set screen resolution of virtual box mine in um, as a script. Now this thing was happening at some point in time. I believe it was Xmonad, not really sure. I'm using by the way control super left and right to just make this a little bit bigger and smaller. So the code here says that let's read it. Use X render and A render to know the possible resolutions, frequencies and names of your monitors. So if people have a problem with resolutions in VirtualBox, not talking about uh, bare metal, so VirtualBox issue, then you could type something like X render, right? X render if installed, that's it. It's called an HDMI one. That's the name of the monitor. And what I'm using is this thing. So the asterisk says that I'm using 60 Hertz, by the way, control alt M available display. This is the resolution. That's the Hertz. Fine. So same information, of course. Then you have a render if installed, that's a render, which lets you move an HDMI one, HDMI two, three, four, five, depending how many of your, um, let's quit, how many of your screens you have, dual screen or three screens, four screens, stuff like that. It will, you can easily drag it along and then um, save it again. I did not show you that. So save it again. You, you, slow, you, you just drag them around and then you say save as, and then you get a file somewhere. And that's the code you need to put inside here to, to just say in your tiling window manager, use XRender and then this long code. Now that was not, that was not um, possible, but at the, some point in time, I learned that there was an application called GTF. So GTF is indeed an application that we have. So man GTF, that's one thing. Calculate visa GTF mode lines. Mm -hmm. Horizontal resolution, vertical resolution, and the refresh. That's what we need. That's the synopsis. So with the X render information that you've just seen, I know that I have a GTF and I have a 1920 on 1080 with 60 Hertz. And when we press this thing in, then you see exactly the same line I have up here. So I've just copy pasted this complete long line and put it in hashtags here. So you'll see the same thing I have here. Exactly the same thing. Still the same thing. Of course, same hardware. And the mode line with lines I do not understand and I do not care all these numbers. Some of them I get, of course, this one and this one. And okay, so we got information. And then later on, I figured out that I can add in this virtual box thing in the environment, right? I can add that it has a mode that it's, it did not give me this resolution, did not provide me in some, was it, was it the tiling window manager or was it the desktop? But it, I could not choose 1920 on 1080. So this new code, this new mode line here, you see the, the same text that's up here that's coming from GFT. That same text is in here, new mode, and you just copy paste this thing behind it. Then you say, okay, let's add a mode. This is a new mode, but now we're gonna add it and we have to use a name. And of course the same reference up here is going to be this exactly the same thing down here. So we've made an um, added a mode called virtual one. And then we're gonna say what the output is. So the output, the virtual one, the primary, meaning uh, first screen probably, right? Secondary mode, 1920, 1080, underscore 60, exactly the same thing 
as we set here, as we set here. And then position rotate normal. So that's your X render normal thing. If you see at this thing, um, so primary 1920 80 on 60. If you use these things or maybe strange things. So let's do an A render all the way. So we'll see. So layout save as. Uh, let's call it Eric dot screen layout with dot screen layout is here and Eric is here let's open it with Atom and here you have your output so you don't need to know all these lines out of your top of your head it's just I don't even have an output HDMI but it's off so the only th thing you're gonna need is probably this needs to go that's enough output hdmi let's compare well it's even a little bit more because this is hardware of course this is not virtual box so output is virtual and primary mode is the same but we have renamed it to 60 hertz that's why the difference and position is the same and rotate is the same so that's where I get my knowledge from it's just a render that gives you this this thing so there you go um, I'm not sure if it's uh, if you're ever gonna need it but uh, if you are on VirtualBox and you see my my resolution is all screwed up you can't figure it out this is your video so um, this is how you actually can make it work on VirtualBox all right, have fun.